Good morning. It's still very dark because it's very early in the morning. It's half past five. And why did I get up on a Saturday morning that early? Because I'm on a mission. As you can see, this is the James Bond street. Because here, Goldfinger was filmed in 1964. I'm here on the famous Pass because I'm heading in direction Italy, France, because I will participate in a classic car rally. It's called 12 and 12, 12 passes within 12 hours. Hi, my name is Cor, and welcome to my channel, Driving with Gloves. I always drive with car gloves. Your question might be, why do I drive with gloves? And my answer is, why not? After James Bond Street on the famous Fourca Pass, I headed in complete darkness in direction Col du Grand Saint-Bernard. I was looking forward to be the co-pilot during the rally in an Aston Martin DBR1. In between, I received a message from Tony Callot, the organizer of the 12 and 12 rally, that I should arrive at 12 o'clock in the Italian city of Bra instead of 1 p.m. So my rally started even one day before the start. After driving through the valley of the river Rhone, I finally reached the foot of the Col du Grand Saint Bernard. So it's a few hours later now, it's 9 o'clock and I'm already on the Great St. Bernard Pass. It's the pass where um, the dogs are from. I didn't tell you until now where 12 in 12 rally stands for. It's 12 passes within 12 hours. But this is not one of the passes uh, which count for the rally because the rally starts tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in Italy and it will go over to France and back to Italy again. From the Col du Grand Saint-Bernard, it was still a long drive in direction Turin to reach after that Bra. Oh, I mean, to reach after that, the city of Bra at noon. I was exactly on time, like a Swiss watch. I met the other participants and had a nice chat with Enrico Fumia, the great Italian designer and former technical vice general manager of Pininfarina. I was told that the Aston Martin DBR1 wasn't there because the owner had some severe health issues. But I also met the famous car journalist Chris Rees from the British car magazine Auto Italia. After leaving my car in the city of Bra at the hotel, John Hinton was so kind to give me a ride to the starting point which was around 40 kilometers away. He drives an exceptional MG Midget, but why do I say exceptional? Well, let John explain why it is so exceptional. Well, it's a bit of a sleeper, so it looks completely original from the outside, but everything from the engine to the gearbox to the suspension is custom. So, originally it would have had 64 horsepower, it now has 193. So almost 200 horsepower? Yeah, it weighs 700 kilos, so it's about 275 horsepower per ton. I'm curious how it, uh, how it sounds. So we started to drive in the direction of Castello Rosso. 
where the start of 12 and 12 would be the next day. After a 40 minutes drive we arrived at the Castello Rosso, then my 7 hours journey for that day came more or less to an end, but you are wrong if you got the impression that it was sleeping time now. Just after a short fresh up in my hotel room, it was for me time to do some totally unprepared interviews with some very interesting people. I have met someone very special during this 12 and 12 ready. It's Leonardo Frigerio. Gao. He is one of the two brothers who developed this beautiful car. It's called the FS Berlinetta. You will find a complete interview with Leonardo Frigerio on YouTube, but I will show you now the video footage I received from Chris Rees from Auto Italia. I am planning to do a complete video review myself on the FAF Berlinetta in the future. This is Giorgio. Well. Giorgio, yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, shall we do the interview in, in English or in Italian? We can speak English yes, if you want to try to speak English. And also this interview with a famous Formula One engineer, Giorgio Stirano, you will find on YouTube. After a short night, I had to get up early in the morning again. Since the Aston Martin DBR1 wasn't there, it was decided that I would become the co-pilot of Chris Rees from Auto Italia. Two Mazda MX-5 were more or less ready for departure and Chris and I would participate in a Fiat Abarth 595 Competizione. And there is my pilot. Not too long after that, the cars were ready for departure. By looking at the map it turned out that the rally was not 12, but 21 passes in 12 hours. Geen achteruit rijden race, hè? As you can see, the Dutch are used to reverse driving. More than one and a half hours later, it was our turn to start. As the navigator, I had a big concern since I didn't know the area. I wanted to know in what direction north is so I could read the map. We are heading in the wrong direction. Um, where is north? Where is north? Yeah, but, but here. Well, that was a big help. Okay. Oh, that was the... <laughs> and then we okay. even missed the start. So, from now on, things only could get better. Hey, look at the sun. Initially, I used no, the position no, of the yeah, sun yeah. to navigate yes. in the right yeah. direction. Thereafter, the map was self-explaining. And now, the fun part began. That's good. We are in Italy. You, you are allowed to do everything. You don't have speed <laughs> limits. Uh, double lines, you can cross yeah. them. It doesn't matter. I've seen, I've seen them. <laughs> I think we, we made a very good choice because this one is the, is the fastest road. The other good. one is... is uh, it's, all, it's all meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did on the road exactly where yeah, you want yeah, to go. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why we have, we're in luck. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect.
And then we saw a competitor, the Lancia Derde Integrale. was also there. But the hilly landscape we were driving through would soon be changed by high alpine roads and passes, and the 12 and 12 rally even goes over the highest roads of Europe. So let me give you an impression what the 12 and 12 is really about, and I want to thank at this point especially Erik Bulkens from Belgium to give me some video footage which I am allowed to use.